Begin laying on your back with your feet planted and knees pointed straight up to the ceiling. Place two blocks between your legs, one between your ankles and one between your knees. Have your hands resting along the floor by your hips, palms down. Squeeze your blocks and press into the floor with your hands. Begin to curl your pelvis up to the ceiling for a hip bridge. Lift as high as possible, squeezing your glutes and hamstrings. And when you reach the top, reverse the direction, rolling down through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. When your hips reach the floor, continue repeating this action three to four times. Keeping your hands by your hips and the blocks between your feet, lift your knees to 90 degrees. Curl your chin to your chest, lifting your head and shoulders off of the floor. Scoop your belly button down towards your spine, engaging your abdominals. Hold this position and begin to pulse your arms up and down. Create sharp exhales with your breath for 10 to 15 breaths. And then slowly release your head and shoulders back down to the floor. Remove the blocks from between your knees and hug your knees into your chest. Squeeze them tight toward your chest and take gentle rocks from side to side. Rock about six to eight times. And then bring your hands back down to the floor by your hips and extend your legs up to the ceiling. Flex through the feet and straighten through the legs completely. Keeping the soles of the feet facing towards the ceiling, bend the knees towards your chest. Then extend, pressing the ceiling away and straightening the legs as much as possible. Continue to bend and extend about six to eight times. Point through the toes and make a triangle with your hands, placing them underneath your hips. Keeping the legs parallel and toes pointed, engage the abdominals. Send one leg away from you until it hovers about two inches above the floor. Bring it back to meet your other leg and then squeeze your hips up to the ceiling, lifting your hips slightly. Repeat with the opposite leg, taking one leg down towards the floor, returning to center, and squeezing the toes high to the ceiling. Continue to alternate, sending one leg and the other about six to eight times. Keeping your legs glued together and your toes pointed, press into your palms. Begin to roll your legs close to your face and roll your hips off of the floor. Aim for your legs to be parallel to the floor and then lower with control, reaching your toes straight up to the ceiling. This is your preparation for plow pose. Continue rocking the hips up and overhead and back down to the floor about four to six times. Bend your knees and hold under your hamstrings. Rock up to sit, cross your ankles, and shift up and over onto your hands and knees. Stack your shoulders directly over your wrists and your hips right over your knees. Engage your belly to support a neutral spine. Keeping the toes pointed and the knee at 90 degrees, sweep one leg behind you so the toes point to the ceiling. Try to maintain the thigh parallel to the floor and turn out, bringing the knee by your shoulder. When the knee gets as close to your shoulder as possible, Return it back behind you. Continue to rotate from back to side about six to eight times. Then bring the knee back down into your hands and knees position and repeat on the other side. Keeping the toes pointed and the knee at 90 degrees, sweep one leg behind you so the toes point to the ceiling. Try to maintain the thigh parallel to the floor and turn out bringing the knee by your shoulder. When the knee gets as close to your shoulder as possible, return it back behind you. 
continue to rotate from back to side about six to eight times. Then bring the knee back down into your hands and knees position. From a neutral spine, begin to push into your shins and hands and around the spine, tucking your tailbone underneath you and your chin to your chest. Then elongate through the spine, finding neutral, reaching the top of your head and the tip of your tailbone long away from each other. Continue to alternate from a round spine to a neutral spine about four to six times. Then maintaining a neutral spine, Shift the hips from side to side, keeping the arms straight. Let the hips sink towards the floor to the right and to the left and alternate about four to six times. Then gently roll yourself out onto your belly. Send your arms behind you with your thumbs down and your pinkies up. Keeping your hands close to your hips, lift both arms as high as possible and lower with control. Continue to lift and lower the arms about six to eight times. Then, sliding your hands to your inner thighs, arch up lifting the head and shoulders into an upper back lift. Look up and back as you slide your hands toward your knees and hold for a breath. Then lower your upper body down to the floor with control. Bend your elbows and come up onto your forearms for a sphinx pose. Plant your elbows directly under your shoulders or slightly in front and press firmly into your forearms. Tuck the toes underneath you and begin to extend through the legs. Bend the knees, tapping them on the floor, and then extend through the heels, straightening. Bend and extend through the knees four times. Keeping the toes tucked, press into your forearms and lift your hips into a forearm plank. Scoop your belly button towards your spine and hold for two to three breaths. Turn one forearm into you and roll to your side plank. Modify the side plank by bending the bottom knee to a 90 degree angle. Be sure that the hips stack directly on top of each other and the top leg is extended. Begin to pulse the hips from the floor to the ceiling. Engage your obliques and continue this action six to eight times. As you lower your hips, roll back onto your belly, finding your sphinx pose. Repeat on the other side. Begin to pulse the hips from the floor to the ceiling. Engage your obliques and continue this action six to eight times. As you lower your hips, roll back onto your belly, finding your sphinx pose. From your sphinx, straighten your arms, finding a modified cobra pose.
lower your forearms to the ground, and then push back into a modified puppy pose. Bring your hips directly over your knees and extend your arms forward. Place your forehead on the floor. Continue to press your weight down into the floor, opening the armpits. Hold for two to three breaths. And then sit back on your heels for a child's pose. From your child's pose, tuck your toes and begin to walk your hands back to your feet. Extend through the legs and find a forward fold. Feel free to use blocks under your hands to extend your reach to the floor. In your forward fold, begin to bend and extend the knees. Make sure the knees float directly over your toes and squeeze the thighs as you straighten. Bend and extend four times. Staying folded over your legs, begin to heel toe your feet until they're wider than your hips. Begin shifting your weight from side to side, bending one knee and then the other, sinking your hips and bending the knee directly over your toes. Shift from side to side about six to eight times and then return center. Straighten your arms and extend through the spine, finding a flat back. Feel long from tailbone through the top of your head. Engage your abdominals to support this neutral spine, and then walk one hand and then the other hand to your hips. Hold here for two to three breaths, and then maintaining your neutral spine, lengthen out and up to vertical. Sliding one hand down your side, sweep the other arm up and over your ear for a side bend. At the base of your side bend, Push off of the bottom leg to go up and over, finding the other side. Continue to sweep up and over from side to side four to six times. Pausing on one side, find your deepest side bend. Engage your abdominals and hold. Sweep your supporting arm alongside your ear, holding your arms and reaching further away into your side bend. Hold for two breaths and then reach both arms up to the ceiling, returning to center. Repeat on the other side. Find your deepest side bend. Engage your abdominals and hold. Sweep your supporting arm along your ear, holding your arms and reaching further away into your side bend. Hold for two breaths and then reach both arms up to the ceiling, returning to center. Fold over your legs and plant your hands on the floor. Step one leg and then the other into a kneeling position and sit on your heels. In your kneeling position, interlace your hands and place them at the base of your skull. Bring your elbows in to touch and curl your chin toward your chest. Begin to round down through your spine, folding over your thighs. Then begin to arch. Lengthening out, finding a flat back, and arch your way up and back. As you come up to vertical, continue to dive your head back, allowing the weight of your head to rest in your hands. Arch as much as you can, and then reverse the direction. Arching forward over your thighs, and then rounding, rolling up through the spine until you find vertical. Continue this diving action, and then reverse about four times. Begin your side kneeling sways. 
sweep one hand to plant just outside your ankles. Extend the opposite leg sideways in line with your supporting knee. Allow the body to sweep around, finding a back bend with your free arm lining up with your ear. Then reverse the direction. Sit your hips to your heels, bringing both knees together, and find the other side. The goal here is to open the hips, engage the glutes, and attempt to press your hips forward in front of your knee. Continue to sway from side to side about eight times. With your free arm by your ear, try to square your shoulders to the ceiling so that your thumb points down and your head can relax back. Remember to keep pressing your hips forward. As you hold here, begin to pulse your arm towards the floor, opening the shoulders. Perform eight dynamic pulses and then come back to your kneeling position. Repeat this on the opposite side. Remember to keep pressing your hips forward. As you hold here, begin to pulse your arm towards the floor, opening the shoulders. Perform eight dynamic pulses, and then come back to your kneeling position. Then come forward. Slide one shin forward into your pigeon pose. Be sure the hips are square and the back thigh is parallel. The smaller the angle of the front knee, the less intense the stretch. The more open towards 90 degrees the front knee is, the more intense the stretch. Keeping your weight centered between your hips, begin to perform sways side to side using your arms. Plant your hand outside your back leg and sweep the free arm overhead, moving through a side bend and potentially finding a back bend with your shoulders facing the ceiling. Continue to sweep from one side to the other about eight times, finishing with your shoulders facing forward. Keeping the weight centered over your hips, tuck your back toes. Begin to engage the back quadricep and squeeze the knee straight, lifting it off of the floor. Continue to bend and extend through the back leg about eight times. Finishing with the leg. 